little wedge popping up. Seabass can take it if he wants it, and he will commit. Looking to slow down. It starts stretching out. He makes it without a problem. Zeed's having to bail out quickly, trying to improve on a 4.33 with that wave. Yeah, it's, I don't know, Joe, I don't know. Jordy looks like he's on a bomb, though. Smith, late takeoff, pulls it, packs it nice and deep. He's running for the exit. It spits oh. him out. Jordy Smith doing the impossible, and now he's starting to get excited. Unbelievable make for the South African. Wow. Well, Jordy Smith sold that one to Seabass. Seabass with priority took the wave. I don't think it's going to improve his situation. It wasn't a very sort of deep, long barrel. Geordie Smith on the wave behind. Probably one of the quickest 10 points rides I think I've ever seen. 10 points from Geordie Smith across the board. They don't even need to look at a replay. Everyone with the same reaction to Smith pulling into an absolute bomb, saving his world title dreams here in this fourth quarter final. Seabass now needs an 8.18 to turn this one around. Wow, wow, wow. How quick things can change. You can see Geordie Smith looking at this wave. Seabass, okay, I've got to go. Geordie's capable of big scores. Seabass slowing himself down, tucks in, comes out the bottom and then jumps off. And he turned around to watch the wave of the day so far. Geordie falls out of the sky, driving through that double section, comes flying out of the end right there. Geordie Smith, as deep as you can get. And there's the claim. We love Geordie's claims. Look at this wave though, Joe. Falls out of the sky, which traditionally is, is hard to then get those nice deep barrels. Geordie driving through. This is what the judges want to see. They want to see those deep throaty barrels, those ones where you don't slow yourself down. You pedal to the metal the whole way through. Geordie Smith knew right there that that was a 10. Geordie Smith doing the impossible. Weightless takeoff, controls the rail, and the job wasn't done there, Potts. He had wow, to keep that wow, board wow. moving all the way to the shootout. Yeah, have a look at this as he drives through that section, standing still. Now he drives again and again and comes flying out of the end of that one. Geordie Smith, tell you what, Seabash dropped a 9.23, had Geordie against the ropes. Geordie Smith knew he was in a combo situation, but a small one at that, free fell out of the sky. He's a big guy too, standing tall in that barrel. So that thing was big, deep, throaty, critical. All the elements that uh, really go into a 10-point ride were all right there for Geordie Smith. And uh, the thing we like about him, right there. What do you reckon, boys? Oftentimes when Geordie celebrates. It's a fucking 10. 10 point ride, everyone happy on hand. Jordy's dad here watching the event go down. Easy decision from the panel. By far the best wave of this entire contest when Jordy needs it the most. Started off looking backhand. He had three in a row where he was incomplete. Seabass, meanwhile, had the 9 2 3. It looked like his rhythm just was fresher. His energy was solid. He was catching a lot of waves. Then Seabass, with a priority decision, took the first wave, and that set up Jordy Smith to do the impossible, turning it a 10-point ride and keeping his world title hopes alive.